Good morning, and welcome to another segment here on Rethink Finance. As always, make sure you like the video, share the video, and all that good stuff. Today, I'm going to talk about an interesting piece of data that I discovered this morning as I was doing my uh, market scans and looking for potential um, setups and potential um, investments here in this uh, recession and this bear market. But today, I'm going to talk about crypto total market cap. If you're not familiar with crypto total market cap, crypto total market cap tracks all of the money, every penny that's invested into cryptocurrencies. And I use this chart that you see here on the screen, this um, total market cap chart. I use that to track the inflows and outflows of money in cryptocurrency. It's a good tool to have to give you um, confirmation along with other um, other um charts and other cryptocurrencies that you're looking at i like to use this to help me gain an edge in the market so right now man it came to my attention over this past weekend that a lot of people bought you know crypto back in um october 2021 a lot of new people came into crypto back here in 2021 and they are still holding on to that crypto in hopes of returns in the future so right now, a lot of people are underwater um, because they bought in, you know, a little late, which is okay, man. It's a learning experience, right? You never invest more than you more than you are willing to lose, right? And it's a learning experience, and you grow from it, right? So don't get don't get beat down too bad about that part. But here, I would like to share: if crypto, if price breaks this two hundred week moving average, right, this blue line, it is over. OK, it is over for this market if this level breaks. Right. Because there's a long way down and here right now. It is eight hundred and ninety three billion dollars in this in this market. So if this level breaks. You can see money flowing out of crypto like the Jesus man. And I'm being so serious right now. So if you are thinking about holding on to this stuff long term, just know the road will get a, a bumpier from here. Because look at here. Look at this 200. Um. Look at this 200 moving average there when total market cap is at this 200 moving average. It is not good. Let's go back into that. Let's go back into time where show me on this chart. The previous time right in the past that crypto total market cap was at this 200 moving average. You have to go all the way back into the COVID to, to the COVID crash, right? So whenever you're here at this 200 moving average, it's not a great thing in the, um, you know, something bad is happening. It's not, it's not great, right? Especially out when you're talking about external sources like the, the remainder of the economy. It is never great when you're here at this 200-day moving average. So back in 2020, you were here during the COVID crash. In the bear market of um, 2018, I don't know if you were um, around in crypto then when Bitcoin was like at $3,000, Right? That was here. It's never a good time when you're down here at this 200-day moving average. And look, in history, you've never broken it. You've never broken this 200 moving average, this 200 weekly moving average. And if you break this now, be prepared for your crypto portfolios and the value that's attached to it to continue to go down a lot from here. It is over. Okay, I want you to be cognizant of what's happening. We've never broken it in the past. Let's hope history repeats, right? Or at least rhymes, where we where we don't have a a confirmed bearish breakdown below this 200 weekly moving average because there's a long way down. Using on Fibonacci, swing low to swing high, right? And finding value areas, eight eight six. You're looking at $459 billion, half of the money that's in crypto will leave. So that means your precious, your precious Dogecoin, Shiba Inus, and whatever, and whatever other cryptocurrencies you are um, invested in will damn near be worthless, man. Because we're talking about half of the money that's in here now being taken out. So imagine what that does to Dogecoin, right? Imagine what that does to Shiba, Shiba Inu. Imagine what that does to Bitcoin and Ethereum, right? Bitcoin is now 20500 bucks. If this was to happen and we saw and we go and test that 886 of the um, Fibonacci 
retracement. Let me plot this again. Let me anchor this. There you go. And we are back here at this 886 at um, 400 and whatever odd billion dollars. Bitcoin will more than likely, if, if crypto total market cap comes down here, Bitcoin more than likely will be at probably about 13,000, man. Bitcoin at 13,000. Right now, Dogecoin is, I say Doge and she because I know they're very popular from this last bull market. So Doge right now sits at six cents. If that was to happen to Doge, oh my God. Sorry, this chart is all marked up. Man, Doge probably come back to two cents. <sighs> Wrecked. Destroyed, man. And look at Bitcoin. Let's take a look at Bitcoin, but then I'm going to get up out of here. So same, same thing, man. Same thing with Bitcoin. You see what I'm saying, man? Bitcoin is hanging on by a thread right now by freaking thread it is beneath the 200 weekly moving average which has never been below just like the market cap just like total market cap i just looked at bitcoin has never been below this 200 moving average until now and you have to think about well, look at where you were here here look at where you were here back here in 2020 see this the times are different this is here in 2020 this is when the federal reserve stepped in right with the largest stimulus package ever 900 trillion dollars or whatever it was and this is what spurred this rally. Right now, we're in inverse times. The Federal Reserve is no longer printing money, right? Monetary policy has changed. So you're not getting bailed out. This was due to the bailout here back in 2020 when the government stepped in and gave and awarded big businesses, awarded um, most of the American citizens with the stimulus package. Sounds familiar? That was this. No longer, no more stimulus package, no more money printing, man. And you're below this 200 weekly moving average. Not good. Right now, you're sandwiched in between beneath the 200 moving average and 2018 uh, cycle, cycle top. If this level breaks, man, Bitcoin could be seeing 13000 let's say $16,000 to $13,000. It's never a great thing. It's never a great time in the market when Bitcoin is below this 200 moving average. COVID crash in 2020. You're here at it. You failed to break below it. Uh, 2018 bear market, Bitcoin at $3,000. You failed to break below it. But now here in 2022, you are below this 200 weekly moving average. Not a great thing. Not a great thing. Let's see if this is the bottom. Could be. I don't know. Let's see if it can hold here, man, and not fall below this 2018 cycle top. Not looking good. So I just want to reiterate that this morning that right here total market cap is sitting at a dangerous place and if it breaks this level look out right that's all i want to say here this morning i appreciate you for tuning in and stopping by this has been another segment here on rethink finance always protect yourself always invest in your education it is a bear market and bear markets it is the perfect opportunity to invest in yourself to learn these markets if you are uh, planning on being a future market participant okay so i'm here i'm out as always like the video subscribe it's a blessing it's a pleasure always talking to you guys i love my community i'll see you on the next video peace y'all have a good one and have a blessed week and let's get this bag i'm out